when people in Ireland wake up on Monday morning, they hope the worst will be over. This weekend, the country leaves the bailout, a programme of emergency funding, needed at a time when the Irish economy faced crisis. In Dublin, there are signs of investment and a growing confidence. This building sat as an empty shell for years, but the Marker Hotel finally opened its doors in the spring, and so far, business has been good. There is growth, there is optimism, uh, but there is a new sense of realism as well, um, so that uh, as an industry, as a hotel, as a country, we don't lose, lose the run of ourselves. And many believe that this weekend is only cause for a muted celebration. Exiting the bailout simply means that the Irish government no longer needs to go to Europe and the International Monetary Fund to borrow money to keep this country running. However, over the last three years, it's borrowed 85 billion euro, and all of that debt remains. And outside of the capital, in places like Drogheda, there are families who need help. A soup kitchen is being set up right in the middle of this town. The poverty that's on the streets, the poverty that's in the family homes is unbelievable and I think the government need to get down off the pedestal and have a knock on a few doors. There have been tax rises and welfare cuts, but Ireland's own age of austerity has been designed to try to benefit future generations. At the Boomerang Youth Centre, most seem hopeful about the economy rebounding in the long term. But some aren't prepared to take a chance. This couple are heading to Canada to look for work. There's too many people that are qualified, but there's just no jobs. Yeah. So abroad is the answer, I think, in, in my opinion. Many have already emigrated, and Ireland's Prime Minister knows he's under pressure to get the economy back on track. My mandate, if you like, from the people was to sort out the public finances and get our country working. The opportunity beckons up ahead and we're not going to waste that opportunity. The technology sector has been doing particularly well. But the years when Ireland boasted of the Celtic Tiger economy seems a long time ago. And after such difficult years, who really knows what the future holds?